You're watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather coverage you can count on. Mountains in Northern California are covered in beautiful, much needed snow from the weekend storm. This is Soda Springs in Nevada County up there off of Interstate 80 where they got as much as six feet of snow on Sunday. Look at those rooftops, pretty incredible. I didn't see the snow, but I did hide out from the wind this Saturday. I couldn't believe it whipping around out there, Jason. Yeah, it was really windy. The Chico Airport in particular had a 55 mile an hour wind gust over the weekend as that storm was plowing over Northern California. We had some really good amounts of rain in the valley and the foothills, and we had some good snow in the mountains. Speaking of which, the Trinity Mountains in Northern Sierra were at 201% of average for this date. That is exactly what we want to see. And the state of California is 223% of where we should be on this date. So it's going the right way for us, but now we have a fairly clear sky. This morning it was clear and chilly for the valley. We had lows in the 30s. The mountains had some clouds, and that kept the temperatures in the 20s, but a lot of places are not going to have that benefit tomorrow morning. The highs were still below average, though, despite all the sunshine. It was upper 40s and lower 50s for the valley, and mostly 30s for the higher terrain. Alturas only got to the freezing mark, but you can see hardly any cloud cover at all for the valley. We have some clouds that are trying to push in from northwestern Nevada into northeastern California, but they're not going to be rain or snow bearing clouds for us. But with that snow on the ground, Modoc County, Lassen County, parts of Plumas County, we're going to have a good chance for some areas of low clouds and fog forming over that cold snowy ground. For the valley, we're not going to have a good chance for any fog. South of Butte County, there's going to be a chance for it as you get closer to Sacramento, but not much fog will just have areas of frost. So make sure you wear that extra layer tomorrow morning by the afternoon. Although it won't be as warm as it should be this time of year, we'll have a lot of sunshine and it's going to feel fairly seasonable. Then we have some more high clouds moving into our sky by Wednesday afternoon and a couple disturbances will try to move our way over the course of the next seven days. We'll have a few more clouds on Thursday. Another round of clouds coming in late in the weekend and early next week, but that storm is going to miss us to the northeast. So we're going to have some breezes. We'll have a few more clouds by Sunday, but compared to the last several storms, it's going to be very quiet weather for us and we'll also have almost seasonable weather. Slightly cooler than average, but not too shabby for the last few days of autumn. Hard to believe that winter is just about a week and a half away. As far as the wind is concerned, we're going to have very much that late tonight through early tomorrow or on Wednesday. Still fairly quiet weather for us all the way through the next seven days. Here's your forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be a chilly start to a cool day for northwestern California. Lows in the 20s with highs in the upper 30s and lower 40s. If we don't get the low clouds and fog to form, it's going to be cold tomorrow morning. Single digits and teens for the northeast. Highs between 30 in Alturas and 40 in Shingletown. Also have a high tomorrow of 40 degrees in Cohasset after a chilly low of 28. 43 degrees for a high in Megalia and 45 degrees for Paradise with a lot of sunshine tomorrow, but it's going to be a chilly start. You're going to need that extra layer for the valley. Also well below freezing and about 10 degrees cooler than average. A low of 27 in Redding and 28 degrees for Red Bluff. Highs from around the lower 50s, also about 5 degrees cooler than it should be. And the Chico area will also have lows tonight in the upper 20s and lower 30s. High Highs and lower 50s with a lot of sunshine on Tuesday. Next seven days in Chico, no good chances for any rain or strong wind. Bad and good for us, but we're definitely going to have a lot of sunshine. And for the Reading area, we would love to have more rain. It's just not in the forecast for us. And by Friday, finally climbing back to where we should be this time of year with a high of 57 degrees. Sounds pretty warm. Thank you.